Mid-American Conference Football Media Days continue here on Cleveland.com and MLive. We are pleased to be joined by Eastern Michigan head coach Chris Creighton. Uh, Chris uh, had talked to a couple of the players. Uh, last year, you won your last three games uh, of the regular season and then a tough loss uh, to Georgia Southern in the bowl game. What did your team kind of kind of learn late last year, and, and did you see maybe a building on that as you went through spring practice as well? Well, you know, we, um, we got our hearts ripped out of our chest, you know, in that bowl game. Uh, lost to a very good football team. <clears throat> Thought we played pretty good football. It was just a great game, and, you know, he made a long kick um, at the end of the game to win it. But, uh, you know, our guys were... Uh, devastated. We all were. I mean, there's guys in fetal positions on the ground, you know, um, afterwards. It was one of those kind of kind of scenes. Um, but to answer your question from that, it has absolutely driven our football team. It just has. I think that's how, that's how it works, right? Uh, you know, um, these guys are competitive and driven and want to be successful, and you get so close, and, um, you know, we, we failed. And so um, I, I just think that this team uh, believes uh, deeply and is, is driven. You kind of get a sense of what your team will be in spring. Uh, it seems like you, you, you really like this team and, and some of the things that you've seen from them. No doubt. Yeah, no doubt. I love my team. Yeah, no, I don't. Uh, <laughs> we, we, we got plenty to work on, believe me. But our, our, our coaching staff and, and our team um, just feels that we have great people. We enjoy being around each other. We're, uh, we're on the same page about doing what we want to do and how we want to do it. And, you know, that, that makes it fun. It does. Six offensive starters returned from, from that team from a year ago. What are some of the things you expect to be really good about the offense? Well, kind of answer that in, in reverse. I mean, we graduated four uh, senior offensive linemen, you know, and so we've got some really good offensive linemen coming back and a huge group of guys that are going to be good football players, and hopefully it's tomorrow morning, right? <laughs> I mean, those guys just – they're, they're all capable, and so who is going to rise to the top and how quickly and, and for those guys, all the mesh. So we're, we're excited about that, but it still needs to happen. We have five senior wide receivers, um, you know, a senior quarterback, uh, two senior tight ends, um, and two senior running backs. And so just because you're a senior doesn't mean that, you know, you're the best player on the field, but, you know, it does mean you've – you, you want it badly because it's your last chance. Uh, the number two has a special significance at, at Eastern Michigan. It goes to the, the best, quote-unquote, senior wide receiver, mm -hmm. quote-unquote, best. And, and it's in memory of a guy, Demarius Reed, passed away in October of 2013. Um, who are the contenders for that? And, and how big of an honor is it for an Eagles football player to put that number two on? Well, I can explain it, like, to you or to the incoming freshman, you know, to say that the two people who have worn to since D. Reed are Sergio Bailey and Blake Bantam. And, you know, if they've ever met or have just heard about those two guys, they know that they're, you know, revered, you know, as, as highly and, and as deeply as possible. Um, and uh, it's a good issue that we have. We haven't named the number two yet, um, and uh, it's not because we just haven't, said who it is um, we really haven't decided who that's going to be yet um, and it's good because there's there's multiple people who are worthy um, of wearing that jersey but our team knows what a big deal it is let's talk a little bit about Mike um, played pretty well and a dual threat guy and some of the things that 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 affords you the opportunity to do when, when you got Mike Glass playing quarterback um, yeah, the, the thing about uh, Mike Glass the second half of last season was, you know, that he, that he was injured some. Um, but when he was playing, as you said, I mean, he was really, really good. Tyler Wiegers had a great year. We had Phil's, we had two really good quarterbacks, two very different quarterbacks. Um, but uh, I don't think I've been, you know, a season at Eastern Michigan that we haven't needed to. That's just something that I know as I know as I know. And uh, I think Mike's special. I really do. I, I think he has... Um, the thing that everybody wants, but, you know, it's hard to figure out how to get it or how to make it. Um, he's just got the it. He's got the special. Um, guys, including myself, follow him, uh, believe in him, um, like being around him, and then we think he's super talented. Um, four starters on defense back. What are some areas that are strengths and, and also some areas that if, you know, boy, if we get this figured out, we're, we're going to be a pretty good football team? Yeah, so if I do that in reverse order as well, so we lost essentially our, our defensive front. 
our, our defensive line and our, our two inside linebackers. And so there's some really good players in that group. It was the number one defense, you know, in the Mid-America Conference last year. Um, so that's where, again, the development, our, our recruiting, the program part of Eastern Michigan is going to have to come through. Um, and we believe that it will. We absolutely do. Just be a lot of new numbers and a lot of new names on the back of jerseys. Doesn't mean that they will be young. I mean, we have been developing folks, you know, but then we do look to our secondary, um, which, you know, was absolutely phenomenal last year um, and returns a ton of experience um, to go ahead and anchor, you know, that defense um, until we get that identity, you know, hopefully rather quickly. Um, but uh, our secondary obviously um, was a bit of a reflection of our pass rush and, um, you know, our, our defensive front. Um, and so it would be a little bit more challenging if we're not able to play um, as well as we did, um, you know, on our defensive front for our secondary. But that's where we got our experience and, our, and, and a lot of our leadership. Chris Creighton, we appreciate the time. Best of luck to Eastern Michigan in 2019. Thank you. Well, that will wrap up uh, Mid-American Conference Media Days from here in Ford Field in Detroit, Michigan on Cleveland.com and MLive. We appreciate you tuning in and have a great day, everyone.